good morning everyone and welcome to Glasgow Caledonian University. I'm the Principal and Vice-Chancellor Pamela Gillis and it really is a great pleasure to welcome you all here this morning to the inaugural National Conference on Local Action to Tackle Child Poverty, hosted by the Scottish Poverty and Inequality Research Unit here at the university. And that unit's called SPIRU. I know that doesn't sound very inspirational, but it's an inspirational unit. Now, this timely conference seeks to tackle the issue of child poverty by bringing together over 140 representatives from the public, private and third sectors who are working together to eradicate child poverty in Scotland by 2030. And oh my goodness, how we need you each and every one of you. You all know the data. In Scotland, we have about, I mean, you look at different figures, but about 240,000 children living in poverty. And 65% of these children are in working households. But in the UK as a whole, there are 2.9 million children living in poverty. We're doing a wee bit better in Scotland and the rest of the UK. But in 2010, it's almost unbelievable that in a wealthy country like ours, there are nearly three million of our children living in poverty. So, government policies really do matter. And these must be based on the best possible evidence. And what you'll be hearing today is the, are the approaches that you've brought together uh, as part of SPIRU's interdisciplinary research to collate all the evidence out there from your work about you know, what makes a difference and also, the more difficult bit, what doesn't work? What should we say? Let's not continue to do this and invest in it because it doesn't work. Let's focus locally on the strategies that do work. And what's interesting to me is that it's been the Scottish Government who's commissioned this work bringing you all together, looking at strategies that work. And as you know, it's part of the government's Every Child, Every Chance campaign, child poverty strategy to make sure we eradicate child poverty by 2030. That's a really big ambition, but I actually think it's achievable. So you're going to reflect on everything you hear today, and I hope you will agree to communicate your findings as loudly as possible within Scotland but beyond Scottish borders to help some of those 2.7 million children elsewhere in the UK that are still living in poverty and struggling. Today we have some fantastic keynote speakers for you who include our wonderful Cabinet Secretary for Local Government and Communities, Aileen Campbell, MSP. Thank you so much, Cabinet Secretary. It just, it just tells the world how important this meeting is and this conference is, and I know your personal commitment to this is absolutely 100%. But we also have representation from the Poverty and Inequality Commission and very, very senior representatives from COSLA and SOLIS and the Scottish Directors of Public Health. I'm thrilled because I'm a public health person myself. So for us, it's a great privilege to host the event here at the university. And I'm really delighted to have somebody who used to work, work with us in the bygone, bygone years, Dr. Jim McCormack, who is Associate Director for Scotland at the Joseph Rowntree Foundation. And Jim is going to be the chair of today's event. So but please welcome Jim McCormack. Thank you. 